Time now is 5.13. Have you Googled yourself lately? You no. might be. Yeah, don't do it. You might be surprised, by the way, with what you find. Allison Gormley tells us what's the deal with how to get your personal information, like your cell phone number, off the web. Search your name. You've never Googled yourself? To see what you can find. I don't think I've ever Googled myself. I don't understand how that's online. That's what I ask some coworkers around the office to do. Old phone number. Shows where I do live. Yep, got the blog. Then I look them up. Is your cell phone number 812? Yes. Okay. okay. And whose phone number is 817? My husband's. Is your address 27? It is. Is your phone number 317? Hmm, that's my husband's number. That was terrifying. Thank you for that. To remove your information, start by figuring out which sites offer it up. Some of them include fastpeoplesearch.com, white pages, and my life. And while each site takes down the information a little bit differently, you'll want to track down the removal process. For example, on Fast People Search, punch in your email, find your profile, click remove, then you'll receive an email to confirm your decision. Once a year, go ahead, Google yourself, see what you find out there. Carrie Kursky is a personal security expert and said you should Google your name in quotations with the name of the city you live in. It's telling the internet or telling Google to go out and find exactly what's in between those quotation marks. If I just typed in my name, Carrie Kursky, I'm going to get anything that has the word carry and anything that has the word Kursky. Sites are often able to collect your information from public records like voter registration or property purchases. So next time you fill out a form, think twice about offering up information they don't absolutely need. Finally, don't forget your photos. Make sure someone isn't stealing them by conducting a reverse image search. And it'll search the internet to see where else that image might be located. Then you can always contact those websites and ask them to remove it or report it as fraud. Either right click on your photo and select the option or Upload it to a search engine, staying on top of your personal information so others can't.